Ambulance workers are sounding the alarm about the EMT shortage. Nearly one third of EMTs quit in 2021. The numbers for last year could be even worse. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald tells us what this all means for sick or injured people. Ambulance services are stretched thin. We're not the only ones having staffing problems. You can go to any service in Nashville and they're going to tell you the same thing. Yeah, we need more people. Acadian is an employee owned ambulance service. Retaining EMTs like Amelia Schultz is getting harder. It's very fulfilling. So we've got our IO drills. It's one of the most amazing jobs I've ever had. In Nashville, Acadian mostly does non-emergency transports, meaning they take people to nursing homes, dialysis, or home from the hospital. You get to go ride around on Vanderbilt campus, you get to drive through downtown. Schultz is from Memphis. She's helping out the local crews. Stretcher is already set up for our first patient to go. The company lets people travel to cities they have contracts in. It's amazing to see that I can still do this but not on a government fire department or anything like that. Working as an EMT is also a stepping stone for people that have an aspiration of working in another part of healthcare. You know, it's not just helping us by training these people, it's helping the whole EMS community because, you know, they're not going to probably work for us for 20 years, but if we can train more people and put them into the system, it helps everybody out. Especially people in the community. They lose when there aren't enough EMTs. People have to sit in the hospital longer because there's no ambulance in Nashville to pick them up and take them somewhere, which means that somebody who's sicker that needs that hospital bed can't get in there because somebody's taking that hospital bed already and they can't find transport to get them where they need to go. Those who do the job feel they're often brightening someone's day. We always say that we like to be the best part of someone's worst day. In Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. So are you interested? So what's the pay? Acadian says new EMTs right out of high school make around $40,000 a year. Paramedics start between $60,000 and $70,000. That's around what the Nashville Fire Department pays. EMS staffing is nearly full, but they are recruiting advanced EMTs and paramedics. Starting pay for those positions is $56,000 and $68,000 respectively.